But first, it is now a done deal. This morning, Baltimore Spending Board approved a more than $18 million deal to buy two hotels, which will be used to house more than 100 city residents experiencing homelessness. 11 News reporter Tally Taylor is joining us now live in the newsroom. And Tally, the money for the hotels will come from the city's federal COVID relief funds? Yeah, that's right. And some of the rooms in these hotels were already being used in an emergency capacity. But city leaders explained today that buying the hotels will allow them to do a few things. One, take advantage of all 132 beds in the hotels. Two, make sure there are no interruptions in service for those relying on these hotels. And three, allow the mayor's office of homeless services to offer social workers, health care and other social services all on site. The city's never done anything like this before. And so three million of the 18 million is going to a company that will manage the hotels. I asked Mayor Brandon Scott why this was a good use of federal COVID relief funds. This is money well spent because this is allows us to get people, even in a temporary fashion or, or a longer period of fashion, off the streets, working with folks to get them the services and things that they need so that they don't end up back out on the street to begin with. We have thousands of folks that have asked us for housing in 2023, well over 4,000, and we're not able to meet that need, and I think it's our responsibility to do our part. MOHS Director Ernestina Simmons says after this year, the long-term goal is to find a local organization that can make the hotels permanent supportive housing. And Simmons says MOHS is looking to purchase more hotel space. She says before COVID, the city had 650 permanent shelter beds. Now that's dropped to 450 beds. Live in the newsroom, I'm Tali Taylor, WBAL-TV 11 News.